Hey guys, Ila here, and this time I'm in SGRV 103B in Sacred Valley. Yeah, a tank destroyer. So, I wanted to talk to you about tank destroyer gameplay and the way I see it, uh, the way I try to play tank destroyers if, if this ever happens. You know, I generally don't uh, play TDs because TD gameplay is often very, uh, well, kind of boring because you often sit back and just do nothing most of the time. You know, you sit and wait for an opportunity, you wait, you wait for some enemy to make a mistake. You usually don't create opportunities yourself, you don't go anywhere and then find an enemy and then kick his ass. No, you sit somewhere and wait for the enemy to do something stupid. Uh, or that's how most tank stories are played, or I'm talking about the paper ones, like not Yak Panzer type. <laughs> so I thought I want to play differently. I want to take a tank destroyer and I want to make difference. Because if I just sit on my base, like STRV S1 does, like a very standard position for a TD in this map, then the battle can develop two ways. Either my team wins and I barely keep up with my team, so I make like three shots of damage and then just... Or four maybe, and then like nothing happens. Our team won, our team killed everyone. Or my team loses and then, well, the enemies all arrive to me, I make two or three shots before I die and that's it. So I thought I want to make a difference because when I go into battle, I want to win it. Like, I don't want to sit and then see what happens, and then maybe I will deal some damage, maybe enemies will be stupid enough that they will all show their asses to me and I'll like, bam, 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 a lot of damage. Or maybe there won't be anything. I want to deserve my damage, I want to take it, I want to, I want to have some guaranteed damage. So what I do in Paper TDs when I get to a situation like this, when uh, there are no long ranges where I can just work at the enemy team, at the enemy tanks, I actually take my tank and go into attack. And yes, attacking in STRV or in some Borzik, it's a tricky thing, it's difficult to do that. Because you kinda play it like a medium, but you play it like a shitty medium, like the worst medium around here. Because you are usually not very quick and you often also don't have a turret, which is a huge problem if you play it like a medium, because enemies are from the left, from the right, so you have to peek out very quickly and then shoot and then roll back and preferably don't take any damage back. But why do I do that is that I just go forward and I know that I won't just deal some random damage, you know, when the team has already won or the team has already lost. I will deal damage in the time when the outcome of the battle is still undecided. So I will make contribution to the victory itself. So I go to the medium plant with two other mediums and then we all together shoot at the mediums of the other team and then we win flank or we lose flank. So I don't shoot at the <laughs> at what's left from that fight on that flank. I actually fight in that flank and win it or lose it. Of course I won't deal as much damage as uh, maybe in some open map, of course, yeah, because you know, it's sometimes hard for a TD, sometimes you will be double-tracked and killed very early, maybe with three or four shots, but usually it's possible and you, like, you make your four or five shots, you get some damage and you actually help your team to win. And also don't forget that you take damage for your teammates, because in this map, for example, in Sacred Valley, I prefer to take da uh, damage that otherwise would go at my medium. Because I know that in this map, me medium tank is uh, more useful than a tank destroyer. So if I share some damage that would go into my medium tank, then I take half of it, or maybe like all of it. I know it will do only good to my team, because my medium will live longer and will be able to do more. It's a very indirect contribution to the victory, you don't get extra XP for that, you don't get... You don't even get thank you from anyone, because it's hard to notice that the favor that you do to your team, but then you know for yourself that you win the battle. I'm not saying that I play like this all the time, of course, you look at the minimap, you assess situation, you think, hmm, it, does it make sense to go there? Will I be able to fight those tanks there? And then, well, then you end up sitting somewhere around enemy base and actually making difference, because look at who's left at our team, T28, bottom tier, Esther vs one just no comments, paper thing, 
and then a lightweight, and their team has some really dangerous tanks there, like Badger, STRV, two tier tanks, and a prototype, a tank with very good DPM. And here, I'm actually at the enemy base because I was driving all the battle. Because I was looking for an opportunity to deal damage, I was creating an opportunity for myself, and then I arri arrived to the enemy backs, and then I can finally make the final contribution and help my team to win. Because were I just sitting somewhere with STRV S1, I'm not sure this would have been possible, right? So finally I get to the back of T28 Prototype and STRV 103B and it's already almost 7000 damage, which is probably one of my best results ever in a tank destroyers because I only had a pair of 8k battles, maybe one or two. Uh, so, and, and definitely not in this map, so I was very happy to have such a score here. I play very poorly against STRV. Yeah, I allowed it to shoot me twice, but nonetheless, everything ends fine and, well, the battle is over. So, tell me what you think about my philosophy in attack stories. Maybe you do the same, maybe you do something differently, maybe there are some other tricks to be more effective in a TD to make contribution in every battle. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next videos.